السلام عليكم هلو everybody our video today is about a famous topic in English grammar we have reported speech or what we say direct and indirect in order to change the sentence from a direct to an indirect one we have to care about two changes outside commas depending on the kind of the sentence and inside commas outside comma we have statement if we have say or says it remains as it is say or says said it remains as it is said say to or says to become tell or tells say to becomes told interrogative said or said to becomes asked inquired wondered wanted to know they are followed by if or whether if the question started with an auxiliary verb and they are followed by wh question if we have a question word then we have the subject and the verb in the past of course if we have whether in most cases in the end of the sentence we have or not the third kind of sentences order or request or command said or said to becomes told ordered commanded or even picked to plus infinitive or not to plus infinitive exclamation we have said or said to becomes exclaimed with sorrow surprise happiness regret that plus subject plus verb of course in the past tense these are the changes outside commas the changes inside commas we have three main kinds of changes change of tenses it means each present becomes a past and each past becomes a past perfect this is in most cases of course we don't have change in tenses for three cases if the tense outside comma is in the present simple or in the present tense and if we have inside comma scientific fact also if we have outside comma the expression just now so we don't have changes in tenses in three cases number one if we have present outside comma number two if we have just now outside comma number three if the sentence is a scientific fact then we have change of words or nouns like now becomes then yesterday becomes the last day the other day the former day or the previous day here becomes there this becomes that this becomes those tomorrow the coming day the following day uh, the day after pronouns in most cases the subject inside comma refers to the subject outside comma this is the main rule let's move to the examples the first example fatima said to murad i want you to come with me tomorrow to the hyper fatima said to murad i the sentence here inside comma starts with the subject so it's a statement the statement we have said to so the answer of the sentence this is a kind of direct to be turned into indirect i will say fatima told murad that it might be written or not i the subject inside comma refers to the subject outside comma this is a female character that she want is in the present here we have said to so want as a present symbol becomes a past symbol she wanted you this is the object case you refers to murad murad is supposed to be, to be female to be male fatima told murad that she wanted him to come with her there here we have tomorrow the coming day or the following day to the hyper then we have full stop the second sentence the teacher said to his students water boils at 100 centigrade here we have said to the sentence starts with a subject so it's a statement but take care this scientific fact so I will say the teacher because it's a statement said to becomes told his students that might be written or not water remains as it is boys this is present simple and in direct it is supposed to be changed into past simple but because of this scientific fact the tense remains as it is water boiled at 100 centigrade 
Of course, these two sentences are statements. Let's move to the second type, the interrogative. Ala Situnur, will you help me in my homework or with my homework? This is a kind of interrogative. Situ, I will say Ala asked Nur. Here the question starts with an auxiliary verb. So after the auxiliary verb, because of the auxiliary verb we have F. Ala asked Nur F. You refers to Nur. Nur is supposed to be male. Ala asked Nur if he would help her in her homework. Take care. Her is a kind of object, but her is a kind of possessive adjective. The second type of interrogative. Of course, this question starts with an auxiliary verb as we have discussed before auxiliary verbs are verb to be verb to have verb to do and modal verbs the fourth sentence sarah said to muhammad don't play with my notebooks this is a kind of order so i will say sarah told muhammad this is in the negative form so instead of writing don't i will say not to play with my refers to Sarah with her whom work. The same sentence I can say Sarah were not Muhammad against playing with her notebooks. I'm sorry. Number five. Salma said to Sidra, What about visiting our grandpa? Take care. This is a question mark. But the meaning of the sentence is in the suggestion form. So I simply can say Selma suggested visiting their grandpa. Selma suggested visiting their grandpa. Suggest is followed by Jerry. The children say to their mother, we don't want to eat now, we are playing with our toys. If we look closer to this sentence, it starts with a subject. So it is supposed to be a statement. The children say to, I will say, the children told their mother that it might be written or not. We, the subject inside comma, refers to the subject outside comma. We refers to children to be they. Don't this is present simple in negation. Of course here we have present outside comma. So the sentence remains or the tense remains as it is. The children to, uh, the children tell I'm sorry their mother that they don't want to eat. Here we have now changes to be then they don't want to eat then then here we have in the original sentence full stop to change the direct into indirect i will say and add that if we have full stop between the two sentences we are supposed to say and add that this is present and add that present and add that we also refers to the children they are playing with their toys. The seventh sentence. Khalid said, Hooray, my team won the match. Of course, this is the fourth type of sentences, which is exclamation. Hooray to express happiness. Khalid said, Hooray, my team won the match. To be changed into exclamation, it will be written like this. Khalid exclaimed with joy or happiness. Both are correct according to the meaning of the sentence. Khalid exclaimed with joy and happiness that my refers to Khalid that his team of course we have here past simple to be changed into past perfect that his team had won the match. Then this sentence, he said to me, thank you, 
or I'm sorry or no. Of course, these are three sentences, three different sentences. But I will say because of thank you, I will say he thanked me. I am sorry. He apologized to me. He said no. He refused. Or he answered in the negative. If we have another sentence to support our second sentence of the interrogative, this sentence, the journalist said to the player, how many goals have you scored in your life? Of course, this is a negative sentence. So if I change it into indirect, because this is interrogative, I will say the journalist asked the player, how many goals is a question word to remain as it is? The journalist asked the player, how many goals he had scored? Because you refers to the player. Thank you. Follow us in our next videos.